What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of my right botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help cancer. Here we plant seeds to help you improve your mind, body, and spirit. So let's see how the Holy Spirit wants to use cancer water sign energy to place, plant this next seed. Let me get a deck. Let's see here. Hmm, let's use this one. Holy Spirit, we are very grateful and thankful for all the messages that we have received, all the insight, guidance, and clarity, Holy Spirit, that you have provided for us. But what is the message at this time surrounding cancer, water sign, energy, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like us to know from you, through me at this time, Holy Spirit? What is the message? The clarity. What do we need to hear? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Surrounding cancer, water sign, energy. What do we need to know? Let's do one more shuffle, y'all. Let's just see what comes out with the tarot, and we'll go from there. Messages, Holy Spirit, the world. Something has been completed. I think someone feels like they may have achieved something with this completion that I'm picking up on. This could also be a a karmic cycle that has ended too now. Somebody feels like they've achieved something because they've closed a karmic cycle. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? They finally got some level of peace and balance in their life. Something has finally gotten in alignment for them here. I don't think this cycle would have closed without the help of the Most High God and the Holy Spirit. I think this person called for divine intervention to help close out this karmic cycle in their life, and they received it because they were unable to stop it on their own. Judgment, I'm telling you, because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing three different type of saint-like energies back-to-back -back on these cards, temperance, judgment, and hierophant. This person felt like in order for them to have a victory, in order for them to triumph over something karmic in their life, they had to get down on their knees in prayer. That's literally what I'm getting off this hierophant energy. This person may have went to a church altar in prayer, praying and asking God to help them close this karmic cycle in their life. I feel they did do that. Somebody then went to church and humbled themselves in front of a crowd full of people asking for forgiveness, asking for help, asking for assistance and ending something that was detrimental to their life. Okay. They couldn't do it alone and they knew they couldn't do it alone. And they have either joined a church or they went to church to get prayer, to be put on the prayer list, to be able to pray to God and ask for help with this. And they've received it because this person has been struggling with this karmic cycle for a long time and another reading but it was another day it was seven of swords four of pentacles that'd be the energy people be in i feel like whoever this was this was the energy of the person that they were dealing with clarify holy spirit queen of pentacles i'm telling you that's the energy of the person that they were dealing with and they have ended their connection with this person. But they had to pray for divine intervention, literally, because they could not get rid of this Queen of Pentacles on their own. This is her energy. I think this person was very sure of themselves, confident, 
that this partnership was going to last and last and last and last, okay? But the scales have been balanced in another way. I'm telling you with this partnership, this look, she thought that she was getting justice, but this man was considering other options in life because he didn't want to be in this partnership anymore and it has ended. So I don't know what the most high God did to free him, but he been free. <coughs> they say when you sneeze two times, somebody talking shit about you. Fuck you too. <laughs> okay. Don't be mad at me. Look what was behind the ten of swords. Cause I'm the empress. Don't be mad at us. Cause we fly. Okay. And we divine. See. Whoever this is that has broke away from this queen of pentacles, nine of cups. They ready to fight for the love of an empress nine of pentacles. Okay. Whoever this masculine is, he could have fire somewhere prominently in his chart. He could be a Sagittarius possibly. He ready to fight for a partnership with this Empress Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you, he's planning his strategy to go towards her now. He could have cancer in his chart. He already figuring out how he going to do it. Chariot is right up under the Seven of Swords. He going to be slick about it too. But this Queen of Pentacles is holding on to him for dear life. King of Cups. This is the Cancer energy, the masculine. She, she trying to hold on to him for dear life. He could be like a Cancer Leo Cusp. Okay? But it ain't nothing she can hold on to no more. Because I'm telling you, the Most High God came on in here and ended this thing for him. Yes, 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 the most high God did. Because this man was going through it with this queen of pentacles. It's really given that on the outside, looking in, this seemed to be a very happy connection. But this man was in the five of cups. And he asked and prayed for a breakthrough and he's received one, okay? So what... I'm telling you, a light was shine down on what this King of Cups, King of Wands was dealing with. And the universe took action on his behalf with this magician energy. Okay? And something has shifted. They defended him. They are protecting him from this woman even. This is weird because it's like she had him in a a chokehold. Like, you ain't breaking up with me. You ain't leaving me. That's her energy. I'm picking up on it. Four of Pentacles. She, she was very mean to this man. Page of Cups. He wants to get an offer from someone he feels is... A better woman. I, I, you know, I could get specific with it. But he just feel like this this Empress Nine of Pentacles is a better woman. And she's available. And she, she it does have better character. Because I'm picking up on this Queen of Pentacles. Very. It's indignance. It's arrogance. It's some sort of codependency and control. That's also why she came out here as a four of pentacles, queen of pentacles. She's she's wearing the pants in the relationship. This man was like in a low-key abusive relationship. And the queen of pentacles was the aggressor. And he wants to make up to, make amends make an offer overall to this other woman. And that is what he's about to do 
How was this King of Cups able to break away from this Queen of Pentacles? What what happened? High Priestess, King of Pentacles. I believe his prayer was to be freed from this partnership. That he wanted to be partnered with someone who he felt would appreciate him fully. Who would not be so evil to him. Evil, yo. I'm picking up on it. He prayed to be the partner of another page of Pentacles because what he potentially hoped for with her was not panning out the way that he thought it would. Six of Pentacles. She was breadcrumbing him, not the other way around. It's really like she was, you see how he, that, that's her in the red coat, okay? Not him. Very dominant, very dominant energy. I do feel like he was in an abusive relationship and he felt like he couldn't get out, child. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, child. I'm telling you, she was damn dragging this damn man behind the scenes. She, I wouldn't be surprised if she was putting hands on him. He didn't have to fight. That's what I picked up with this Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, Empress. He's literally had to fight his way out of this connection to get Five of Pentacles. Damn, y'all seen that? Five of Pentacles to get his way out of this partnership with this person. He's had to fight at times and still couldn't break away. Look, ass might have got hurt for real. You see how his foot bandaged up? So he had to go to source. With this hermit card, he went to source. He went to the divine. He prayed for something to break him free from this person. He prayed to be free from this connection. He prayed to end the partnership he had going with this abusive person because there are a lot of allusions to these people's connection. People may even be wondering why they didn't broke up because see, they, they have broken up now. This is what he was facing up until this point. And now he's trying to head in the direction of this empress. But this man was in an abusive relationship. I'm telling you, and people are like, why he left her? They look like they was doing so good because she was whooping his ass behind the scenes. It's something like that here too. Cussing him out, talking shit to him. May have even been withholding money somehow. Queen of Wands. And he wanted to be free to... It's some go back to energy with this Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. It's like he had a shot with her before. He chose this other woman, child. You know how it is. She was over there whooping his ass. And he realized, I need to leave her the fuck alone. I need to get my ass up out of this karmic partnership ASAP. And now he want to go, come over there wherever you at. Okay, so he do, he, he ready to put that work in with you. Eight of Wands, but child, I, you know, I'm going to just keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it bean sprouts around this bitch, okay? I just had some bean sprouts earlier. This man, okay, so I'm supposed to take, I'm supposed to take her leftovers because that's what it's given. You've been getting your ass whooped and you've been experiencing verbal, emotional, and physical abuse from this woman that you chose to partner with over me. And now that you're tired of 
this ver verbal, emotional, and physical abuse that you've been having to deal with to save face, you finally broke away from her. That's good for you. But why do you want to come over here to me? Why couldn't you see from the beginning that the heart that you needed was within me? Why did it take somebody having to mistreat you very badly for you to realize who I was? Someone else's mistreatment of you should not be the, the deciding factor about me. Because, see, that's what it is. And whoever I'm picking up on, feminine in the collective, you are thinking this, this same thing. Like, you was getting your ass beat over there with that one, but you thought she was so much better than me. And now that the relationship is ended, you want to come back over here to me like I was the best choice all along, which I was, but it took you getting your ass whooped, dealing with some cryptic behavior for you to see that. And I don't know if I like that energy. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not picking up on... I, I see where he went and he got with the most high God but what does that mean? Did he just go to church for a few times in a row until he was able to break away from her? Or is he truly serious about his spiritual journey? But see, that's the question I'm asking. You know, is he truly being divinely guided or is he just trying to redeem himself because it's going to eventually be known why him and this queen of pentacles broke up so holy spirit what's the final oracle message surrounding this energy because you got to be careful letting these people back into your life y'all i'm telling you you got to you got to be mindful about that hidden cameras when I tell you that she had this man, she was dominating this man. She was dominating this man. She may have even had hidden cameras on this man to watch his activity within their home or even to watch his activity where he was going, what he was going and doing. She got some sort of tracking or surveillance on this masculine. He might want to reset his phone get one of them things off of amazon where you can swipe your house and your car for hidden cameras and devices and things you can the trackers and shit it's the it's a thing you can get from amazon where you can check for detect for electronic devices hidden electronic devices he need to do all of that because she really has some sort of grip cryptic control over him we have water lake energy this man is feeling very emotional right now possibly emotional about getting out of this karmic partnership but he has a lot of emotions for this other woman okay he is out here as three three kings but he got some healing to do you know, like he, he got to, he need to clear his energy of this other woman. She may still be tracking him, even though they have broken up. Like he's not ready to be in a partnership with you yet. They are ashamed. Alien DNA came out and then we have, they are ashamed. Because whoever you are, you are very special, very divine, very unique, very eclectic. It's something different about you, okay? But see, he always knew that. He ain't just realized this shit now that I'm picking up on. See, that's my other problem with it. This man ain't just wake up and realize who you was once he broke up with this woman. This man always knew you were special. That's why he ashamed. 
because he chose this other person over you only to be over there getting his ass beat. And I keep saying that, and I ain't trying to pick at him. I ain't picking at nobody that is a victim of physical violence, whether you a man or a woman. But it's something about that in particular here. Like she really be wailing on him. For real. He's also ashamed of that, that he's gotten an abusive relationship. So just don't be nobody's scapegoat. That's all I'm saying. Because he already knew who you was. Pisces energy. Somebody may have Pisces in their chart. Who do you love? Are you for sure? I'm telling you, she may have Pisces in her chart. Because she did come out as this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. But he knew who you was. But he had to ask himself this question. And he went with her instead. Because he thought she was more clever, I'm telling you. So don't be nobody's rebound. Fuck that. Because that's sad. Now he sad. Because he thought she was better. Now she been over there fucking him up. And now he want to come back over to you, child. It wouldn't be me. I, you know, be happy he got up out of that abusive relationship if you want to be but i don't know y'all should this let me get another deck because i'm telling you i'm picking up on the bullshit i'm picking up on it i'm picking up on the fact that this man ain't nowhere near in alignment where he needs to be to deal with you and partner with you he wishes and hopes that but he got a lot of healing to do this man was just in a long-term abusive relationship with a woman he needs to recover from that and him giving you a page of cups offer isn't the way to recover from an abusive partner. You know, you don't want him bringing none of that bullshit energy over there to you. I mean, even in his behavior and his actions. You know, what if his ass decide he want to start abusing you the same way she was abusing him? I'm just saying. That's why I'm telling you that's why this hermit is under this king of wands because he's going to come to you all free and unencumbered and like, you know, life is good, but he got some healing to do. He, he need to figure out why he was willing to save face and be in an abusive relationship for so long with this queen of pentacles. So Holy Spirit. Does this divine feminine need to take this masculine back? Yes or no, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. And then we gonna close, y'all. Does she need to take him back, Holy Spirit? Because I just saw the moon. That said no to me, but let's see. Hermit, no. Because he got more soul searching to do. I'm picking up on it heavily. This man is not where he needs to be spiritually emotionally mentally to be with you because you have evolved from the type of stuff that he's still grappling with even if he is out of this connection with this other person now he still got some soul searching some dark night of the soul in to go through before he can truly invoke happiness in another's life he got to get happy himself he got to fix and heal what he went through with that other person and then maybe page of cups page of pentacles he can potentially start to mend or heal things with you but he got to mend and heal himself first okay otherwise y'all gonna be in a tower y'all gonna be in the tower and a seven of wands because you're sowing seeds on you're, you're sowing seeds in tainted soul, soil like he ain't right she she did some work she put some work in on him okay I promise you that she really fucked with this man's head and his self esteem I'm hearing and he's got to awaken from 
a lot of those seeds that she planted within him about who he was, his importance, his abilities. his relevance like she really was fucking him up so you know the holy spirit wants you to think twice before you let him come back in because you don't want to get fucked up because i'm telling you she's still tracking him and i can't make it up you don't want to get sacrificed somehow and when i say sacrifice i don't always mean mdk on being unalived when i say sacrifice sometimes that could mean someone who is choosing to persecute you somehow, mistreat you, deceive you, hurt you because they know they can get away with it. And it is a form of sacrifice. It's a loss that you have to take when you are spiritually attacked, physically attacked, verbally attacked. It does, it is a very rough attempt to break her soul she's done this to him i'm telling you he had to pray for peace and healing and a release from this situation because she was on his ass but whatever he did with this temperance judgment hyphen energy i'm telling you it's like he's been going to a church he's been praying asking for people to pray for him to release the demonic strongholds over his life. And that has happened for him, okay? He has been able to achieve that. But before he can reconnect with you, you know, he got some work to do. And I still wouldn't be immediately eager to let him back in all willy-nilly, full-fledged, I don't know. Because I'm telling you, it's something like this Queen of Pentacles ain't finished with him yet. And so the test now is going to be, I got you away from her. Are you going to allow her to come to where you are? Are you going to continue to entertain her? Are you going to follow the additional steps that you know you need to take to keep this person out of your life? Or are you going to follow her up? Because that's not over with completely. And his intentions are good, but he's got to prove himself, not only to you, but to himself, that he is truly healed from this karmic, karmic partnership and that he has truly released it for good, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.